Well, howdy, Pa. What are you What are you doing? You've taken over my shop here with the uh, here at FPV Reviews with your uh, with this map, and you're putting pins in the map. What's going on? Well, I'm putting pins in the map. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a lot of people have bought my boat plans. Yeah. And I just kind of wanted to get a picture of where they all are. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. These are special people. Yeah. In yeah. in what particular way? <laughs> <laughs> well, Spike, these are people that like to build things. Yeah. They enjoy spending time in the workshop. They're craftsmen. They're craftsmen. Yeah. They're craftsmen, and they've they've learned they can find satisfaction in creating something themselves. Sure. Kind of rare these yeah. days. They're a special breed. A lot of these folks have shared their projects with us from all over the world. We, yeah. can, we can look in the back door of some of the workshops. We can see the boats being built, slowly see the boats coming together, and eventually see <laughs> the guys put them in the water and sail them around. Yeah, somehow a few more Swedes and only one lone Norwegian. I'm not sure what happened there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. This is Paul. He is the fellow who started the schooner Irene Thread on the RC Group Sailboat Forum. Here he shared with us his experience building the schooner Deborah. He has also posted videos on YouTube so we can see her sailing. Thanks for all of that, Paul. Paul lives in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado and rides his bicycle towing this nifty trailer to take Deborah to the lake. <laughs> to the best of my knowledge, this was the first customer-built Irene to go sailing. Little Rosie was built by Daniel in Germany, who is a very experienced model boat builder. He boldly reduced her size and built her with polished iron sheet rather than plywood. You can see her sailing on YouTube. This outstanding Emma was built by Russ in San Francisco. Russ follows instructions pretty well, but he doesn't stop there. 
The added deck details make his boats outstanding. Before the paint dried on this one, Russ was already busy building a schooner Irene, making him the first guy I know of to actually build both of these designs. This is Russ's finished schooner. Keep an eye out for it if you ever get a chance to visit the model boat pond in San Francisco's Golden Gate Park. This is Mao in Victoria, Australia. He's a man of action, builds lots of boats, and makes lots of videos. We can follow his adventures on YouTube. Mao is the first guy I know of to build and sail both the Irene and Emma designs. His schooner, Molly G, was followed by his sloop, Anna. Mal's buddy, Greg, built an Emma about the same time, and they often sailed together. Mal then went on to build another Emma, which he modified considerably, adding a sail area and a fancy control system. He calls this one Maxi. Greg is busy building a schooner with clear varnish top sides, so just a glance will tell you that this is a wooden boat. This is Thibaut, who lives in the high mountains of eastern France. His boat is finished and sailing now. Thibaut is a clever guy with tools. I love the little car he made for marking the water line on his Emma. Here is Ferdinand with his schooner Camonique in Ontario, Canada. He did a beautiful job building this boat to the Irene design. And he has posted really nice videos on YouTube so we can all see Kamenik sailing. At home, Kamenik enjoys a place of honor over the fireplace. Okay, so we want to give a big thank you to everybody that's bought plans for the boats, and what else? Oh, and a thanks to everybody for sharing your projects with us. 
thanks for all the posting on the yeah. internet, all yeah. the YouTube videos. Yeah, it's been great. Yeah, it's been great. And so I hope you all enjoyed this chance to see what everybody else is doing. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a real pleasure for me. Okay, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon for notifications when we upload new videos. And don't forget to visit our website as well. We'll put a link to the in the description uh, to the website below. So thanks and have a good one. Thanks everybody. You're great. You're special people. <laughs> the red pins are the schooner Irene. The blue pins are the sloop Emma. Right. And the white pins indicate those smart shoppers that saved five bucks by buying the combo pack, which so they bought plans for both of the boats at the same time.